I'm really quite a fan of the narrative of fish tales. This is a Porky Pig short that was released originally in 1936. It's of course a Warner Brothers Looney Tunes cartoon and this was directed by Jack King. And in this one, Porky Pig goes fishing and he's getting on with his fishing. There are worms there and then he decides to go to sleep. And while he's asleep, he has a dream that he is underwater and we basically get to see Porky Pig interacting with the fishes. I'm aware that the plural of fish is fish. Gets into different kinds of, um, not so much trouble, but um, different situations that he has to try and get out of. And we see him exploring and I just absolutely love the animation of Porky the Pig, of Porky Pig in the ocean swimming around. He is absolutely adorable and it just works so well. For me, this is definitely visual, but I also love the narrative. I love the idea of him going out there and then falling asleep. And this is what his mind conjures up. And I think it's really creative. It's really inventive. I can't say for certain that there are no other cartoons where somebody falls asleep in a boat and imagines what it would be like if they were underwater. I'm sure there are other ones like that. But certainly I haven't seen any or can't think of any off the top of my head. And for that reason, it makes it a little bit more unique compared to some of the other ones. I won't say anything about what happens when he's underwater. He does get himself into some pretty sticky situations, but it's just lovely to see him exploring the ocean and swimming, sometimes a little bit frantically. I think the animation for this is really beautiful. I really do like Porky Pig. And having said that, it's not my favourite. There are Porky Pig shorts that I prefer so much more. But at the same time, the bar is raised quite high with a lot of them. I do think that Fish Tales... It's one that's definitely worth watching if you're a fan of Porky or of Looney Tunes. I think it's a pretty strong installment in the series.